Okay, everybody, so here's obviously video number one of our new year 2017. And we're starting out reviewing a little bit about some polynomial operations, basic algebra one kind of stuff here. So here we go. So on the worksheet I gave you today, and the one we're going to work on today, here's a couple problems I want to go over real quick. Okay, so let's just get right to it. The key thing I want to remind you of is notice how in number five we have a minus right there. Well, we have to remember to distribute the minus. So let's distribute the minus. When I do a minus, see that minus 6p now is a plus 6p. This minus 3p4 is now a plus 3p4. And then finally, the minus, you see, is going to minus the 7. Everything over here is going to be minus, and minus with the minus 7 would be a plus 7. If you don't remember to distribute, guys, you're going to mess these up consistently. And it's a shame because they're not really that difficult once you practice them, once they're practiced enough. But anyways, so follow the goal now. Notice I have a negative 7 here, a constant as we call over here I have a plus 7 and we already distribute the minus so that's really down here now again follow the goal so what's minus 7 plus 7 well they cancel each other out alright let's keep going on here notice how I have a 3p4 here I have another plus 3p4 together that's 6p4 isn't it and then finally I have follow the green a p here and a 6p there so together that's 7p and this is what we call the simplified form I combined like terms it's simplified right I simplified it okay so let's do one more together and then I want you to try a few on your own that you may not have tried yet so number seven let me go back to purple here Notice this time it's a plus. Well, the cool thing with the plus guys is basically we can ignore all the parentheses now. Because with the plus, all the terms already have the proper signs. Nothing's really being distributed here. I'm just basically going to combine like terms. And I'm just going to go in order here. So follow the yellow here, or gold. That negative 6. And I look across here, x squared, x cubed, x cubed, x4, x squared. There's no other x terms, so I know my answer is going to have a negative x in it. Well, what about, follow the green now, negative 4x squared. Well, we have a x cubed there, x cubed there, x4 there. Ah, we do have a plus 4x squared. Well, what's negative 4x squared? plus 4x squared. They cancel each other out. 0x squared. Follow the red. Here I have a negative 6x3. Over here I have a negative 3x3. And negative 6 and negative 3 is negative 9x3. And then finally, if you notice, the only thing left is this 7x4. So that goes in my answer. The only thing else I can do, guys, is put them in order by power. So I would say 7x4 minus 9x cubed minus x. And that is my simplified expression. 